Quran, Yudayim, Perek Dalet, Mishnah, Zion, 7th Mishnah, and the 4th chapter, 2nd last Mishnah, in, uh, in Mishnah, Yudayim. The Mishnah, are really coming very fast. Omrim Tzedukim, we're discussing the Machlokim between the Tzedukim and the Purushim. So the Tzedukim say, hey, Kovlim Anu Alechem, we reject you, we rebuke, we're angry at you, you Purushim. Shatem, Mitahari, Mitanitzok. You know, if you pour water from one to another, so if the bottom is tame, if the bottom, uh, if the bottom uh, kli is tame, when you pour water, the flow will create a connection between them. But the pr- the prushim said the flow is doesn't go back up, doesn't go back upwards. So the the, the tzurukim said, what in the world? How can you be mitahir the nitzok the flow? How can you be tired the the flow? Okay, which we've learned before. So the Mishnah says, Omri Prushim, the Prushim said, Oh yeah, back. Kovlim anu alechem. We're mad at you, Tzedokim. Then they give it back to them. Shatem betaharim et amat hamayim haba'am mi beit If you have a well water, amat hamayim, or a spring that emanates from a funeral, from a, from a cemetery, how could that be? The water's flowing down, and the beit hakvarot is totally tameh, and the water's coming out of it. Nonetheless, you guys say that that's, I mean, we say it's the heart we know, because we don't worry about flow, but you guys, by your own logic, if flow goes backwards, and for sure the flow should go forwards from the Beit Hakvarot. Nonetheless, uh, Modu Basidokim, the Sokim admitted the Tehora, Amat Mayim, a natural wall water, is, is Tehora, Dekrib, it's from the Pasuk. Mikve Mayim, Yet Tehora. Mikve Mayim, gather, a natural um, um, gathering of water is Tahor. But you, Tzedokim, don't argue with us. We can take it back to you and say, by your logic, that the water well should be, ta- the water well should be, uh, should be ta- Tameh. The, but it's not. Omim Sidokim, Sidokim say, Kovlim Anu Alechem Purushim. We're mad at you, Purushim, for your crazy law. Shatem Omim, that you say, Shari Vechamari Shehiziku Chayavim. If my, if my uh, ox or my donkey cause damage, that's good, classic Shorash Anagach, you're Chayav, I have to pay. But, Ve'avdi Ve'amati Shehiziku, but if my slave, my Ebed, and my Ama, and my maidservant, if they cause damage, Turin, then I am exempt. Ma'im shori v'chamari. And this is the Tzadokim's argument. If my shor or chamor. Sh'ani chai b'hem mitzvot. I am obligated. Sh'ani, excuse me. Sh'ani chai b'hem mitzvot. I'm not, they don't have to, they don't have to do mitzvot. They don't, the shor is, a, is an ox. He doesn't have to do mitzvot. Nonetheless, hari ani chai b'nizkan. I'm nonetheless obligated if they cause damage. Avdi v'amati. My slave and my maidservant. These are every, every, every kanani, obviously. That they, when I, when I bring them into my house, I anish ani chayav b'hem mitzvot. There's an obligation that they have to now be strong rei mitzvot. Ain't no din she'ehev she'ehe chayav b'nizkam. For sure, I should uh, be chayav if they cause damage. They're a buyer. They die. They have knowledgeable people. If I'm obligated for them to do mitzvot, I certainly should be obligated for them if they cause damage to other people. The Kahati says interestingly. He says chayav b'mitzvot. He says it's example. You have you have to make sure he has mila that or mitzvot shvita to b'shabat. I am chayav that my that my um, that my animal does not work or that my ever does not work on Shabbat. By that mat, by, by that token, I'm chayav for my animal to not work. Also, uh, I thought it meant ani chayav be mitzvot. Are the masters obligated that they that they have to keep mitzvot? Eno that eno din shani chayav in iskam. I'm not sure what that what what other what else that would mean. Now the the prushim are like that's so what the prushim is like bad argument. I'm am low. It's true that there's a kavachomer from sure. To the Kanani, but Imam Rati Mishari Bichamari, but I have an answer. If you said, yeah, about that I'm Chayav and Nizikin, for my short, my ox and my chamor and my donkey, and Bem Dat, I'm obligated. They're not knowledgeable. They don't have intelligence. They cause damage, but they're, they're not, they don't have human uh, consciousness. Tomru Be'abdi Be'amati, we tell that about my slave and my maidservant, Sheish Bem Dat. They have knowledge. What does that mean? Sheim Akniteim, if I provoke them, if I get them mad, They'll go light somebody's somebody's gedish, somebody's storehouse on fire. They chayav l'shalim. I have to pay. They're my property, my possession. They get mad at me. They can just burn down somebody's property. It's my my, my problem. So therefore, Chazal made a gzeira. They said no. Nimsa mafsidet ma rabo me amad b'chol yom. They can cause me tremendous damage. Therefore, Chazal said in that case, I, I can't be chayav. They they really made a din de rabbana. And the Gemara says about makama. Okay, that Ba'alim are not Chayav and Tashlum of Nezek of Evdim, uh, Ever and Amah. Now, obviously, they would uh, have other ways. It's, it's difficult for us to really uh, have a concept of having a slave and they're, they're your obligation, but not your responsibility of your Ever and Amah. Um, it's not something we uh, would apply today. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to remember you, my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.